Morning, mate. How much are you after on the controller? And what about the PlayStation 2 one, mate? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good, please, mate. If you got a change, <laughs> morning. How much off on the games? Uh, babe, how much are the games? Uh, two pounds. We take a pound for that one. Yeah. 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 There you go, mate. Thank you. Thank you. How much after on the Xbox? Uh, and the games? Yes, we're going to try and do the whole lot for 20 quid. So you want to see? It's an, it's an Xbox 360, it's not one. Oh, yeah, no worries. He's selling the games individually? Yeah, the yeah. Kind of game anyway. No worries. I'm going to take 50p each for them too, would you mate? Like a pound for both of them? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Cheers, mate. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, okay. oh, sorry, you haven't got a change of a ten, have you, mate? Uh, yeah. Sorry, that's all I've got. Cheers. Morning. How much are you after on the uh, box set? Uh, this Pound fifty, yeah. Would you take a pound for that one? Uh, yeah. yeah, cheers. Nice one, thank you very much. I'm just gonna uh, double check their order. One hasn't been left in a DVD player somewhere. <laughs> To be fair, it doesn't look like it's ever been watched. <laughs> no worries. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Morning. How much are you after on the game? Uh, pound eight. 
Pound each, yeah? yeah. Take that one for a pound, please. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What are the price you got? Uh, 45, 20, 15, 30, 10, and 10. Oh, That's a little bit. I think one of them's got a broken case. Oh, okay, this is yeah. pretty good condition. And the Wii U stuff. Uh, 15, uh, 5, 10, uh, 10, and 5, and that is 10 as well. How much you got on the uh, DS, mate? Uh, no charger, so I was going to do it for 15 for the lot with the games. 15. Is it? Has it got a battery to turn on? That, I was no. like, I've, I've, that's been sitting in a cover for donkeys, because oh, so, right. he's been playing that and I could yeah. not find the charger this morning. No so. worries. What's the last you take for all five of the Wii U? I can do... Uh... Would you take four for the Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. I mean, I've got it downloaded now, so yeah, no we might do game shell on the Xbox. It's, it's just the one disc on these ones, isn't it? Yes, it's not the two like the 360. Yeah, <laughs> I've been done on that one before. Morning, how much are you after on the, uh, on that one? Uh, two quid for it. Yeah, go on then. I'll give you two quid for it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Come on, how much you after on the game? Um, um, I'd say maybe ten pounds. Huh? Ten years? No worries. Okay. Thank you. Always away. Always away. <laughs> I'll get them free, please. I wanted to waste that one, the orange box. How much are the games, sorry? They're 50 pence each. Oh, yeah. Okay, is that right, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Take those two for. Uh, we've got As a pound. Yeah. Okay. Not much wrong with that. Thank you very much. Have a good day. This one, yeah? yeah? Yeah, go on then, mate. I'll take it for a pound. Yeah. My absolute pleasure. Oh, I'm really sorry. Have you got a change of his 20? Uh, hang on. And we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. Uh, aim of the game of this channel is to buy games, DVDs, Blu-rays, electrical items, anything we can get our hands on at boot sales for a cheap price so I can get them traded in at CEX for a high price. Um, so yeah, Sunday boot sale today, uh, pretty good pickups, nothing extraordinary, but um, yeah, loads of stuff to, to trade in um, and, and get a good voucher for so that I can buy some games that I want. Um, so I'll go through the over the uh, pickups now. And um, like I said, no, nothing great to go over, but I know some of you like to, uh, to, to know the value of them. So yeah, um, first pickup of the day, I believe was a PlayStation 2 controller. Um, yeah, paid three pound for this, and I think they trade in for uh, ten pound. Tested it, all working. 
Um, so yeah, that's a good thing about the uh, PlayStation game. Uh, sorry, PlayStation consoles and everything. I can test them as they're, they're one of the few consoles that I do have at the moment. Um, and, and that reminds me, last I think it was last week or the week before, um, I bought an Xbox One uh, controller. I think I paid three pound for it, but the LB RB buttons wasn't working. Uh, they were snapped, um, and I did I did change. Uh, sorry, I did re replace the button, so it's all working now. Um, but someone in the comments did put, if you break the seal on the warranty sticker, which is that one at the back there, I don't know if you can see it, um, that CEX might not take them. Now, it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a gamble whether they'll take it or not. I haven't tried taking this one in yet, but um, I I'll keep you posted. But I thought I'd just make you aware, just in case anyone goes and buys one um, and tries trading it in, and obviously it gets knocked back because they've made the repair on it. Um, if I can't trade it in at CEX, I'm pretty sure I can still sell it on eBay. I have tested it. It, it all works. Um, it connects. There's no you know, drag or anything like that. All, the, all of the buttons are good. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I could probably still sell that on eBay for maybe 15, 20 quid. So definitely not losing money on that one. Um, then, yeah, uh, second, well, I, I'm not doing these in any order, but um, the, the, the second lot of pickups for the day was... <laughs> well, actually, um, I've done a little compilation at the end because I think this was fifth time lucky with um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 that day. I literally opened four cases before this, and it either had a different game in it, no case. Um, I think one of them had Black Ops 2, but for the PS3 in the Xbox 360 one. But this one is in there. It is complete. Paid 50p for that, um, and it trades in for £8, and I bought this with it um, just, you know, for 50p as well just to bump it up so really the way i'm looking at that is one pound into nine pound so happy with that um second game of the day is graph Theft Auto i5 on the xbox one um this guy had some really cool games for sale um especially on the playstation one some games i haven't really seen in a while before i think there was old ribbon which is a really strange game um it's not something that I would probably play, but I think it's like a, just a collector's game because it is so rare. Um, but yeah, I think that's normally around 50 quid. And he wanted reasonable prices for them. I think for that one, he wanted 40, 45, when it's normally over 50 pounds. I think he had Resident Evil Director's Cut, which he wanted 30 pound for, which was probably there or thereabouts. And a couple of other games, which like I say, are um, quite reasonable. Um, he wanted a fiver for this and I paid four pound for it. So yeah, four pound into 12 pound. Um, more than happy with that. There was a guy who bought a load of Wii U games just as I got there. I think he paid £35 for five of them, and there was a Zelda game in there and a couple of Mario ones. So whether or not um, it would have been what I was looking for, but <laughs> still, um, you know, so sometimes you, you miss out just by a couple of seconds. But but yeah, I'm happy with that one, £4 into £12. Next one, uh, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City on Xbox um, 360. Paid a pound for that, chops in for four pounds. So, yep, yeah, happy with that. Then we've got Call of Duty World at War. Always on the lookout for this one. Um, paid a pound for that. Again, I think it trades in for four pounds. <laughs> it's got a CEX sticker on it and also a game receipt in it. What's the date on the, the game receipt? Has it got a date? I can't find one. Anyway, it looks quite old. But yeah, that one's literally going through the full circle of life. It's going back to CEX now. Um, then we've got these two games here, which I bought from the guy. So he had an Xbox One box. Um, and I, at first, I think he said he wanted £10 for it. So as you can imagine, I was like, oh, okay, let's have a look. And then he said, oh, actually, it's got um, an Xbox 360 in it. Um, there's not really much money in Xbox 360s um, with consoles and stuff like that. But then in hindsight, I'm thinking maybe I should have bought the box especially if it had inserts and stuff like that, because I could have bought an Xbox One in the future, I put it in as boxed and, and traded it in at CEX. So, um, yeah, maybe a bit of a fail there. You guys will probably tell me in the uh, comments, but something I'll, I'll keep in mind next time when I see um, a boxed, or the box for a console, shall we say. But, yeah, did, did manage to get these two games uh, from him, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for 50p. On the Xbox 360 and full auto again on the Xbox 360. Paid a pound for both of them, trading for I think three pounds twenty. So yeah, happy with that. Then we've got two box sets here. We've got um, Friends. The, I think it's the 15th 
15 year anniversary one uh, paid a pound for that chops in for four pound they are all there um and then i've got sharp the classic collection um which i think is what's made sean bean famous paid a pound for that and it trades in for five pound now there was um another box friends box set that i bought um guy wanted uh, he said, i think he said oh two pound for it quick before the missus comes back or something like that got it i didn't, didn't think to check got home and yeah there's about i think there was about three discs missing so um yeah that's one for the foul pile i think i gave it to my brother he's just going to rip them all onto his computer and then obviously we'll just throw it away because there's not not going to be um not going to be any money in it unfortunately uh, now these pickups are from the second boot sale um didn't manage to get them on camera because um, my gopro had run out of battery so apologies there um, but yeah call of duty black ops free on the xbox one Tra uh, paid a pound for that trades in for four pound and then i've got uh, professor layton and the curious village 50p complete trades in for one pound 60 i've picked that up a few times now always worth looking out for and then this one was a bit of a fail um just dance 2 on the wii paid 50p for it i think i scanned a copy of just dance uh, free earlier that day and for some reason and i know that that trades in for one pound 16 and i've got confused and thought it was the same one so i paid 50p it actually only tr trades in for 90p so although it's not a complete fail um it's not where i want to be with tripling my money so yeah all in all um i think i spent i think i spent about maybe 16 to 18 pound on all of that and i think it trades in for 54 pound which if my maths is right that's a about tri tripling my money so happy with that like, like i said it's not um a great weekend but you know that that sunday there 50 something pound back plus with what i've got on saturday which will hopefully be about 30 odd pounds something like that um so yeah 80 pound voucher that i'll get spent on uh, cex this week and um, i should have another episode of cex roulette um which i have a, should go up the same day as this video or, or maybe the day after um but yeah, keep staying, uh, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, as always, everyone really do appreciate all of the views, all the subscriptions, all the comments, everyone getting involved really does mean a lot to me. Um, so yeah, please do stay tuned and I will see you all in the next one.